It is with honor and pleasure that I give you the man who will be the next United States Senator from this great state of Indiana, Richard Murdoch. It's time. Thank you all. This is the beginning. This is just the starting point. And it is my choice to make this starting point perhaps something unique. I ask each of you to join me in giving a round of applause to honor a lifetime of public service, Senator Dick Luger. <laughs> to all of you who are Tea Party activists and Tea Party followers, I have but three words, God bless you. That's not exactly the reception you've gotten everywhere. In fact, our senior senator looks upon you differently. He has been quoted to say you are angry and you are frustrated and that you speak in cliches and offer no real solutions. He even went one step further to say the Tea Party needs, and I quote, to get real. My friends, I want all of you to know that as I have crossed this state from border to border and end to end over the last 24 months, I've come to understand you are real. You are the reality that is the heartland that is the very base of Indiana. And so, my friends, I'm looking forward not to simply being the Tea Party candidate, but being the Tea Party-supported Republican candidate. He's a very conservative person, very genuine. If you talk about transparency, that's him. Richard Murdoch is the conservative we need, not a Democrat, not a liberal. A principled, conservative, constitutionalist wanting to bring God's moral compass and all of the uh, founding principles and constitutional values, which we believe in, uh, back to our governance. You know, what I've come to understand that Hoosiers and Hoosier Republicans want, they don't care so much about having a globe-trotting senator. They want a senator who will come home to have a town hall meeting, not to speak, but to listen. They want a senator who will walk the parade routes, who will go to the festivals, stand at the county fairs, Yes, eat a tenderloin and an ear of corn, maybe sit next to them at a pancake breakfast. In short, they want a senator who understands the importance of being back home again in Indiana. It's really important that we have somebody in Washington who's going to fight the Obama agenda rather than earn the appellation that he is Obama's favorite Republican senator. Adherence to the Constitution, limited government, lower taxes, and yes, fiscal responsibility, and on those principles, we will not compromise. Well, his fiscal responsibility, you know, that's something that's very important in Congress now because, I mean, spending's out of control. Dick Luger voted to use your tax dollars to bail out the car companies. When that didn't work, and the government came up with a plan that looted the pension funds of Indiana's retired teachers and state police officers, Dick Luger didn't say a word. I spoke up, I fought for those pensioners, I fought for the Constitution all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. <laughs> elections should have consequences. The elections to the United States Senate should have consequences. Otherwise, advice and consent becomes rubber stamp. And we say, no, we want justices who will support the Constitution, not make up law from scratch. He understands what this country needs. My friends, we have every right to take on this battle. We will do so because it is our time and we will win. I think it went fantastic. Um, you know, enthusiasm breeds enthusiasm. The energy that this crowd provided, obviously their support, their understanding that it is time for change in the United States Senate has absolutely energized me and I'm really looking forward to this campaign. I will serve as a candidate for the Republican Party nomination for the United States Senate to serve the great people of the great state of Indiana. God bless you all.